the Fed is data dependent. That's not a surprise, is it? No, they've been saying they will be data dependent and for whatever reason people thought the economy was going to improve stronger. It did not and therefore the Fed decided not to taper. You have lots of uncertainties. You have all these fiscal battles in Washington. The talk about tapering rose interest rates so much that now interest sensitive sectors of the economy like housing and capex are hurting. The economic data are weak and the improvement in employment rate is driven by discouraged right. workers that live in labor force. Your critics have said you've been wrong on a maybe a single point, but boy, have you gotten the vector right about about where growth is and how we get it back. How do we create global GDP? How do we create growth? It's going to be still hard for the next few years because the process of deleveraging that started after the global financial crisis still continues. It still continues. In the Eurozone, you still have high debt ratios of the banking system, of the household sector. In the United States, we have not done much of the fiscal adjustment yet. Uh, therefore, I think that you'll have slow economic growth in most advanced economies for the time being. Better next year mm -hmm. in the U.S. I see growth at 2.4 percent. It is much better than 1.7 percent this year, but it's going to be still just below trend. Many Americans don't know that you've written serious economic research, serious scholarly papers. So is Janet Yellen. If you were to sit with the vice chairman of the Fed now, what would be your recommendation, your perspective that you would give Janet Yellen? Well, she has her own strong views, but I think the recovery is going to be anemic, and whether she's chosen for the Fed chair, likely, but not totally certain yet, or somebody else, mm -hmm. is a committee, and they'll have to go slow. They'll go slow in terms of when they start tapering and when they end tapering. They're going to go slow for when they start exiting zero policy rates, and they're going to go even slower for when they're going to normalize rate. It might take them right. three years as opposed to two years last time around to normalize right. rate from zero to four percent. Quickly now, where's the inflation? There is no inflation. You have a slack in the goods market with excess capacity. You have a slack in the labor market and workers don't have any pricing or wage bargaining power given that unions are weak. You have now a commodity super cycle is over. So yes, M0 is doubling, tripling, quadrupling, mm -hmm. but velocity has collapsed and credit growth is dynamic. So I think that inflation in the U.S., in Europe, in Japan, even in the U.K. is going to be the last Very thing good. the central banks will have to worry. They'll have to worry about growth, jobs, and employment.